let's talk about swiper js responsiveness okay so in the previous lessons we learned that how we can create the basic structure and how to add the pagination and navigation to our slider so in this lesson we are going to work we are going to learn at how to make our slider responsive and there are multiple ways of doing it uh, so we will discuss a few of them but you have to decide that which way is suitable for you so the first one is the simplest one you can you can you do not have to change you do not have to make any change in the script you can directly make your slider responsive with the help of the breakpoints given in webflow um, so we know that we added um 40 percent width to every swiper slide so we know that now on this breakpoint which is desktop so the width is 40 percent right let me just refresh the page so if i reduce the screen width so the slide is always 40 percent so we can change the percentage on every breakpoint so let's make it to 60 percent on tablet on landscape let's make it to 80 percent and on mobile let's make this to 100 percent right so this was as simple so let's refresh the uh, just uh, publish these new changes refresh the page and now when i change the width of the screen so now i can see that our slider is very much responsive now based on the percentage we set with respect to different breakpoints so this is the one way of doing it the other way of doing it is okay so let's remove these percentages and then let's talk about the other way of doing it okay so when we get into the script so we need to add few more lines so let's go to the documentation when you get into documentation you can search for breakpoint and go to this this one which is on the swiper api click on this one and it will take you to this section so you have to copy this these lines of code i'm just pressing ctrl c and just paste it right below there yes so as we have other properties down there as well so we, you need to add comma at the end of this property so now we can define the number of slides on each breakpoint so i think let's remove this one because now we will define the number of slides for each breakpoint and for space between if if you want to have the space between a different space between the slides then yeah so keep it there but if you want the space is always the same then you can just define it outside of this breakpoint property so i want 24 pixels on every breakpoint the space between the slides so there is no need to define space between on each breakpoint so just uh, define it once okay so the next one is so just by reading this command so you will get an idea that what's the purpose of this breakpoint and what this will do so um, if i just save it and publish so we can understand the script by looking into the published site so let's refresh the page okay okay so it says when the window width is greater than and equal to 640 so for example i am on a screen with a 
with a width of 640 or greater than 640 so the number of slides will be four so let's experiment this one so i'm looking at the slider at 640 so i have one two three and four if i just make it 39 which is below than 640 then the number of slides will be three so greater than and equal to 640 and less than sorry greater than equal to 480 and less than 640 All right so this is just for the purpose of understanding so whenever the breakpoint is 480 or greater than 480 and less than 640 so the number of slides will be 3 and if we just put it let's do it like is and less than 480 so the number of slides will be 2 right and below 320 there is no uh, slides per view is defined uh, so it will remain to do right so if we define let's also define another breakpoint when greater than and equal to zero and less than 320 so the number of slides will be one so when we go below 320 the number of slides will be one right so let's test this on the published site so we have already tested this 640 so let's test 480 right so let's go to the 480 there are still three number of slides but if we just go down to 79 so we can see that this is two let's put um, okay not 320 but make it zero yeah now this looks good okay, refresh the page and go below 320 which is 319 and then now the number of slides is one so this is how you can control the number of slides based on different breakpoints you can introduce any breakpoint so this is the flexibility you get when you use breakpoint inside the script. And there is another way. So this, this was the second way of uh, making your slider responsive. The third way is by using the ratios. So let's copy this these line of codes. And let's replace it with this one right and just add comma at the end of this breakpoint properties so now this is going to be very interesting um let's remove space between and let's try to understand what does this mean so let's just press save and hit publish and refresh the page okay so the ratio is actually a relation between the height of the page and the width of your screen so right now inside the inspect mode you can see that the height of my page is 812 and the width is 1629 right um okay i just wanted to make you understand let's go to a new design file okay so now there we can 
understand how this uh, ratio works. So let's say that this is a 12. So this is the height, right? And what's the width? Width is 1629. 1629, right? So let's assume, not assume, but this is actually one yeah so this is ratio one the height of your screen is ratio one so whenever your screen is ratio one or less than what else we have defined I hope I can make you understand properly okay so we have defined so you can you can understand it like one this is 1.5 times of the height and this is 0 0.75 times of the height right so whenever the the ratio is between 1 and 1 1.5 the slides will always be 3 and when it is more than 1.5, the slides, number of slides will be 4. And when it is 0 0.75 and below, so it will be 2. Okay, so let's try to understand. Let me just open the calculator as well. So that we can understand it in a better way. Okay, so, so now. Okay, so let's try to understand. So the height is always the same on my screen, right? So what is the 1.5 times of the height, which is 1218, right? So let's go, let's touch 1280. As soon as I go below 1218, so now the number of slides are three, right? Because now the screen width is, yeah, so now the screen width is like below than 1.5 times of the height. So, okay, let's make it, the height is, 8, 12, right, and the width is 1629, right, let's make it 36, okay, so what's the 1.5 times of 8, 12, 8, 12, multiply by 1.5 which is 1280 so whenever the screen size is below than 1.5 times of the height so the number of slides will be 3 and whenever and whenever the screen size is more than 1.5 times of the height so the number of slides will be four and let's also calculate that what's the 8 12 multiply 0 0.75 609 so whenever the the size the width of the screen is 609 sorry less than 609 so the number of slides will be two okay so let me just copy and paste. Let's change the color of. And let's make it 609. 
and let's make it to front okay so this is six zero right so whenever the screen width is six below than six zero nine so the number of slides will be two whenever the screen is between this breakpoint so the number of slides will be three and whenever it is greater than um 12 18 so the number of uh, slides will be four so this is how actually it works i hope i can uh, i hope i have explained it well but this is how you can um you can use these ratios to make your slider responsive so this could be useful in some cases it depends that what what is your what what is your case and it depends yeah it depends what is your case but this is how it works so i think um i have explained few ways of make your slider responsive and in the next lesson we can talk about how we can make our slider cms based